Okay, so this is going to be the second half. Now we're going to be redressing the wound. So at this time, you'll have your time out in the middle of the checkoff. You're going to get your gown back out, so you can go ahead and get that back out. Um, can I have somebody fold that quarter while we're getting everything else ready? And what else does she need to get out of the crash? Uh, her gloves. Please. Now you understand, this is this for the checkoff, for the real patient, you get fresh gloves. <laughs> but she's going to need both clean and sterile gloves for the second half of this checkoff. Okay, so she's going to make sure again that she has everything here. Again, the sterile um, gauze, the roll, sterile gloves, clean gloves, sterile field, and sterile towels. Okay, what is she going to do before she comes into the room? Wash She'll wash her hands again because she's been working with another patient. Okay, then what? Okay, so she's going to put on her gown next. I'm not ready. <laughs> Any second she's going to put on her gown. Hey, Sorry, I didn't, lap, I didn't plan very well for having an extra table. gown available, did I? Okay, so while she's doing that, you would have disinfected. We're going to have a bring this up close because you're going to put a foot on there. Okay, so we would have disinfected whatever surface we're going to use for the um, to put the sterile field on. You. So you'll say out loud that you've disinfected it. Okay, so she's going to don the gown. Okay. Just while she's putting that on, what's the next thing she's going to prepare? The packages. Uh, the sterile field. Okay, she's going to go ahead and get that set up. Okay. And this one there. Okay, so still part of number 15 there. Down your okay. gown and then position the sterile field. Okay, so the sterile field is that sterile barrier. While she's getting ready, let's remind her what, how she's going to set that up in her hand. Uh, in the left hand, hand, blue stripes, and the left. Right, so it's in the left hand, blue stripes to the left, and two folds for a You can touch the outside of it. Okay, so the two folds toward you on your left hand. Yep, and then blue stripes to the left. Okay, and you're going to grasp, with your right hand, you're going to grasp that corner, and you're going to grab the camera. With your left hand, you're going to grasp that corner. And again, not right at the edges. Um, you want to kind of grasp it maybe an inch or so away from the corners. And then let it fall away from you. There you go. So anything that she touched before is toward her right now, so that's the side that has to go down. So go ahead and set it down onto the stool over there. Good. And she did a really good job of keeping her head back while she did that. Okay? We need to keep that within your vision, so you may want to use your foot or something and just kind of push it over to the side for a minute. What else does she need to get ready? The, the gauze. Okay, the, the gauze and the roller packages. Okay, so you're going to open those up. Okay, now, before, remember how we dropped the gauze? Could she table down? I'm sorry? Could she be able, since she's working on a low level, could she just squat her table down a little bit? She can, whenever, whenever it feels comfortable for you, if you want to move the table down, you can do that. The gauze roll, this time, remember last semester we dropped it onto a sterile field? This time we're leaving it in its own package. Okay, so you're not going to drop it onto anything. So just open it, kind of fold it behind and set it up on your table here. So. Okay, and then the same thing with the gauze, so the sponges. What's next? The towel. Sterile towel. Sterile towel. Okay, you got your sterile towel all ready to go. Um, sterile gloves also, you need to kind of get those prepared. Both of those items. And she's doing a good job of not reaching over these sterile items here. Okay. The sterile towel here. She can open this now, so kind of you know, make sure you give yourself enough room to go ahead and open that up so that it's ready when you're ready for it. Good. Okay, and what's next? Okay, so before she puts her gloves on, she can turn off that turbine. It still would be going. 
at this point. You could have turned it off like when you came into the room. This is the latest that you would turn it off. Okay, so click. <laughs> it is now off. Okay, what's next? Clean gloves. Okay, so the clean gloves. While she's putting those on, what's going to be the next thing she's going to do? Remove the leg. So if she's going to take her leg out of the water, you need to kind of plan ahead as far as where the, the chair or the stool needs to be and where your towel or your uh, table right here needs to be so that you can reach everything. So you're going to be sitting on one stool, her foot's going to be on a stool, so you may want to bring this maybe around to the side or something. So kind of plan that out before you get her foot too, too far out of the water here. further just for the sake of the camera being able to see her foot when it comes out. So. Okay. I think you're ready then. Go ahead and bring your foot on out. And let it drip for a minute and then bring it onto the stool. So when you do that, just kind of try to plan ahead so that your arm doesn't go over the top of the foot. So you may want to kind of get underneath the leg a little bit rather than going over the top of the leg. Okay, what's next? Okay, so I've washed off your clean gloves. And what's after that? Be real careful how you're doing it. You can't touch the outside of your gloves. Okay, remember you're going to reach from the inside. There you go. That's where you're at a disadvantage because you haven't had a chance to practice this before, sorry. Okay, so then you're going to put on both sterile gloves. Okay, so for right now, just put them on. We'll talk about it in a minute. Make sure you're not reaching over your sterile items there. Okay. Yeah. So with this one, you can't touch the outside of the gloves at all. Only what will be the inside of the gloves. Stretch it right up and over the, okay. again, remember not to have your hand over the top of the glove here. I kind of messed you up, I think, when I move this. Again, be careful you're not yep. over your sterile sponges there. Can we have another table to use? Because it just seems like there's not enough room. Nope, there'll be that table. In that table. Or else, if you're doing an arm, it'll be the brown table to place their arm onto and the, the big table to whatever. So you'll have two surfaces. The reason I do that is that's usually all there's room for in one of these small pool rooms. Um, so I want you to get used to the fact that you're not going to have a lot of room. Okay, what's next? Just put the sterile gloves on. The one on your dominant hand will be used for as a sterile glove, but the other will actually be used as a clean glove. Okay. So, this time, remember before we did one sterile glove on and then we had your other hand mm -hmm. um, where you didn't have a glove on at all? This time we have both gloves on, but only one has to maintain sterile. So whatever one is your dominant hand, you have to keep that one sterile. The other one can touch some of the packaging things as you're going through it. So, is drying off the foot the next item? Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch your places for just a minute to show how to do this, so I'm just going to go ahead and step up for a second. Okay, so we're going to pretend that I have my, you know, that I'm her, I have the sterile um, gloves on and I have my gown on. Okay. My sterile, my right hand I have to maintain is sterile, my left hand is just going to be clean. Okay, we're picturing her wound is on the dorsal surface of her foot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with my sterile hand, I'm going to grasp this, let it drop. This part down here only has to remain clean. This part up here is going to be <coughs> sterile. Okay. So what I'm going to do with that sterile glove, I need to protect it. So I'm going to kind of wind the towel around 
that sterile glove a little bit so I don't accidentally get that sterile glove touching her skin um, at all. So right now my sterile glove is protected by the sterile towel. I'm just going to pat around the wound. Okay. So right near the wound I've used this part, so now this is considered contaminated. The outside of the towel is considered contaminated. I'll use the other end of the towel to dry everything else off. Okay, I can dry off her heel, her foot. right now is I'm going to have you lift your foot up and move her to a different spot, so a dry spot down there. Remember this is clean down here. I have my clean glove on so I can still use that. I'll dry in between her toes. You know, make sure that I get all the little parts dry. This part I'm just holding up so that I don't accidentally um, contaminate anything else with it. Okay? So once I feel like I have her really nice and dry, I'm checking the skin while I'm doing that, looking for any redness, any new sores, any dots, anything like that that might have appeared. Okay, it all looks pretty good. Um, if I need to, with my clean glove, again, I can pick her foot up, you know, I can chuck underneath to make sure everything's okay. All right, all right, then this is going to go into the linens. Okay. And again, I don't want to change my hand position here because I don't want to get my sterile glove that's on the inside of this contaminated. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of keep holding it from that and drop that into there. Okay, so from there I'll let her take it. Okay, what's next? Um, Alright, so we're going to put the actual bandage on now and for this one um, what you're going to do is you're going to put the square sponge right onto the wound. Once that wound is covered everything is just considered clean at that point. You don't have to maintain sterility anymore. Okay, so what you're going to do is with your sterile hand, grab some of the gauze, uh -huh, just one or two layers of it there, and with your clean hand, go ahead and grab the, the uh, roll. Okay. If you don't grab the, the roll right then, if you try to put that sponge there and then go back for the roll, a lot of times the sponge will fall right off. Okay, so now she has both of those, so go ahead and cover the wound with the sponge, and right away you can start putting the roll. So that's a much easier way to do it than to try to do that in two steps. Okay, so at this point, she just has to keep both of the gloves clean, not sterile. Okay. For the checkoff, once you go around about three times, I'll have you stop and we'll just kind of unwind it. So, Because I figure if you can go three times, you can go ten times around. Okay, um, so from there, what do we do? Dismiss the patient, maybe check something to compare. What are we going to check? Pain level. Pain level. Pain level. So I'll go ahead. So she went down from a six down to a three. That's good. Okay, um, so kind of get things out of the way. Help the patient. Oh, sorry, you need to put her shoe back on. She probably, if you're doing this big bandage on her foot, she'll probably have like a, a cast boot or something like that. But I will have you practice putting shoes on and off each other. We're not going to take time to do that right now, but make sure you practice that. And when you do that, if you're putting a shoe on and off somebody, loosen those laces all the way down. Okay, make it really easy on yourself and on the patient. Okay, so make it as loose as you can, um, even looser than what this is right now. Okay? And then when you tighten it back up, talk to your patient. Some people like their shoes really tight, some don't. So you know, kind of talk to them. Do they like it in a bow knot? All that stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to suck this over there. Just go ahead and help her down. Okay, and what's she going to do once the patient's gone? Dial through it down and gloves. Okay, so um, she's going to get rid of some of the packaging. Okay, so now all the packaging is considered what? Dirty. Dirty, contaminated. Picture the snot, the nastiness, all that yucky stuff on it. Okay, so anything you pick up, remember from last semester, you're going to fold it in on itself before you move it away from the table. Okay, so picture that there's just nasty stuff on there that you don't want to get dropped on the floor. So fold it all in on itself before you put it into the different packages, okay? And that's everything, the, the sponges, everything. So why do you clean things up that way? Why do we have another sterile towel? In case you needed another one, like this wasn't dry yet. Okay. You need, so you have that second one. Yep. <coughs> Sorry, I might need more. Okay. 
Okay, what's she going to do after she gets all that cleaned up? Also, the sterile barrier. Make sure you fold it all up before you lift it up. Okay. So it. To clean the whirlpool, you can keep the same gloves on if you didn't touch anywhere near the wound. If there's any question about if you get anything mm -hmm. onto those gloves, um, then you would change and put new, like a new clean glove on. Um, you really just need one clean glove, so go ahead and take one off. Make sure you're touching just the outside of the glove. Okay, and how's she going to clean? How's she going to clean the inside of it? With What's Comet that? or something like that? Including the turbine, you know, the outside of the turbine, the thermometer, all that. Um, how's she going to clean the turbine itself? With a bucket of antibacterial soap. A bucket of water with just like three drops is all you need of antibacterial soap. Okay, um, and then you're going to put it up against the turbine. Make sure the turbine's on low setting. And then uh, you know, make it run for about 15 to 30 seconds. Um, and then the outside is cleaned with? Fantastic. Fantastic, something like that. Some kind of an all-purpose cleaner to clean the outside of it. Okay? While you still have a glove on, you could also get rid of any of the sheets, things like that. that you use. Okay. Did she wrap that around her? I don't think we actually did. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, this this could have been put around the patient. Sorry, that's a good point. You can do that. Okay. Um. So then we have everything cleaned up. Then what would she do after that? Remove Wash what? Oh. And make sure you're only touching the inside of the glove at this point, because the outside is contaminated. There you go. Then what? Double bag. Okay, double bag everything. Mark one linen, one trash. Um, and then anything else after that? Wash your Wash hands. hands. Wash your hands. And then you're going to have 24 hours to turn in your note. In clinic, it's going to be due right away. Um, but for here, we're going to we know you're just learning that, so it'll be 24 hours. It'll be due. Okay.